Have you ever wondered what goes through a narcissist's mind when you suddenly disappear from their life? Imagine being in a relationship where the other person's sense of self is so intertwined with you that your absence feels like a personal catastrophe. Today, we're peeling back the layers of the narcissistic psyche to uncover the emotional chaos that unfolds when you ghost them. Hi, beautiful people. Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the complexities of narcissism from a unique perspective. Whether you rel here to understand yourself better or to gain insights into someone you love, you're in the right place. In today's video, we're going to dive deep into how narcissists react when they're faced with sudden abandonment. We'll discuss the initial shock and confusion that erupts when you vanish, the desperate attempts they might make to reconnect, and the lengths they'll go to if they feel threatened by your absence. But it's not just about them, we'll also explore the implications for you as the person who decides to leave. So, if you've ever found yourself contemplating disappearing from a narcissistic relationship, or if you're simply curious about how these individuals cope with loss, stick around. Trust me, this is a content you won't want to miss. Number 1. Initial Reactions Imagine coming home after a long day, expecting to see the person you love, only to find an empty space where they once stood. For a narcissist, this moment can trigger a whirlwind of shock and confusion. It's not just about missing you. It's about the sudden realization that they've lost control over their world. Their mind races. The first thought that usually pops up is, they must have someone else a narcissist often believes they are the center of the universe, so when you leave without a word, they can't help but think that you've been planning this escape. They might even convince themselves that you've been secretly talking to someone else, plotting your exit behind their back. It's almost like a movie playing in their head, filled with jealousy and betrayal. This is where their possessiveness kicks in. A narcissist sees relationships as ownership they want to possess and control their partner completely. When you disappear, it stirs up their paranoia. They may start questioning everything was there a fight they missed. Did you slip away while they were busy? They often don't understand that your decision to leave might have nothing to do with another person. Instead, it stems from a deep need for self-preservation. In their eyes, your departure is a personal attack. They might think, how dare they leave me? I must find out what's going on so. They react with desperation, trying to regain control. They might reach out to friends and family, frantically asking if anyone knows where you are. Their fear of losing you morphs into an obsessive need to hunt down answers, and that often leads to erratic behavior. They just can't accept that you chose to walk away, and this is where their struggle begins. Number 2. Emotional Turmoil When a narcissist realizes you're really gone, it hits them hard. They feel as if they are losing their grip on everything. Many will lose their minds, feeling abandoned and completely out of control. It's like a storm brewing inside them anxiety, anger, and confusion all crashing together. They thrive on the sense of having power in their relationships, and when that disappears, so does their sense of self. In this chaotic state, their next move is often driven by desperation. They'll do whatever it takes to reconnect with you. It's almost like watching a detective on a mission, piecing together clues to track you down. They might call your friends, asking if they've seen you, or if they know where you might be. They'll bombard social media, scanning for any hint of your whereabouts. Every message they send is a mix of urgency and fear, pushing them to uncover what happened to the control they once had. This desperation can lead them to some pretty extreme behaviors. They might even resort to sending messages from different numbers or pretending to be someone else just to get a response. It's a wild effort to make you feel their presence again. As if that might bring back the power they lost. They're trying to regain what feels like slipping sand between their fingers, and in their frantic search for you, they'll ignore any signs that show you might not want to be found. But here's the twist while they are desperately seeking you out, they're also wrestling with feelings of shame. They're not just angry that you left, they're embarrassed that they couldn't hold on to you. In their minds, it's not just about love or affection anymore. It's about winning back their own sense of worth. The emotional turmoil can be exhausting, and this is a crucial moment when their true colors begin to show. Number 3. The Hoovering Tactic Now, let's talk about a tactic that many narcissists employ when they feel the ground shifting beneath them hoovering. 
named after the vacuum cleaner, this is when they attempt to draw you back in, as if they can simply suck you back into their world. Once they realize you've gone, they'll pull out all the stops to make you reconsider your decision to leave. So what does hoovering look like in practice? It can take many forms. From sweet messages, like I miss you to heartfelt apologies that sound genuine, they will try everything to lure you back. They may remind you of the good times you shared, flooding your mind with nostalgia. It's all part of their strategy to make you question your decision to leave. But it doesn't stop at just pleasant messages. Emotional manipulation is often at play. They might bring up how sad they are without you, painting a picture of their life falling apart. They could say things like, I can't eat or sleep since you left, which pulls at your heartstrings. They want to make you feel guilty, hoping that you'll come back to rescue them from their own despair. In some cases they might resort to threats, using fear to control you. Statements like, I can't live without you, or you're making a huge mistake aimed to create a sense of urgency, making you feel responsible for their emotional state. This tactic is designed to place the blame on you, shifting the narrative away from their behavior and onto your supposed shortcomings. Through these techniques, the narcissist is hoping to pull you back into their world. They may appear charming and persuasive, but remember that this is all a part of their need for control. Recognizing the hoovering tactic is crucial, as it can help you stay grounded in your decision to leave. You deserve peace and happiness, free from manipulation. Number 4. What happens when you go back? So what happens if you decide to go back after all that hoovering? Many times, the first phase is called love bombing. They'll shower you with affection, promising to change in ways that sound almost too good to be true. You might receive gifts, sweet notes, and declarations of love that seem genuine. It's like stepping back into a fairy tale, but remember this is all part of their strategy to regain control. They might say things like, I've realized how wrong I was, and I'll do anything to make it up to you these words can feel intoxicating, especially after a period of silence. It's easy to get swept up in the moment, be believing that this time things will be different. They'll act as if they've turned over a new leaf, making grand gestures to win you back. But as tempting as it may seem, it's crucial to be cautious. Returning to a narcissist comes with significant risks. If you go back, you could find yourself in a more dangerous situation than before. The initial affection can quickly fade, and the underlying issues that caused you to leave in the first place might resurface, often amplified. They may become more controlling, using your return as a way to reinforce their dominance. When they feel you are back under their influence, their need to control can become more pronounced. You might find them reverting to old behaviors, possibly even escalating them. This is the moment when the true nature of the relationship can rear its ugly head. The loving words that once drew you back can turn into manipulation and guilt trips, leaving you feeling trapped again. So before you decide to return, ask yourself is this truly what I want? Are these changes sustainable or are they just a temporary fix? Remember, you deserve more than a cycle of love and pain. Prioritize your well-being. And take the time to heal fully before considering going back. It's essential to break the cycle and not fall back into a pattern that once hurt you. Number 5. Implications for the Victim now, let's take a moment for some self-reflection, if you've left a narcissistic relationship or are thinking about it. It's crucial to consider your own worth. Just because they don't chase you doesn't mean you're not valuable. Your value isn't defined by their actions or reactions. You are deserving of love, respect and peace qualities that should never be up for negotiation. Take time to recognize your strengths and what makes you unique. Acknowledge the bravery it takes to step away from a toxic situation. The fact that you've chosen to prioritize your happiness is a testament to your strength and resilience. Remember, you have the power to define your own worth, not the narcissist. If you're in a situation where you're considering leaving a narcissistic relationship, it's vital to have a safety plan in place. Leaving can be a challenging and dangerous time. If you feel threatened, map out your escape route. Identify safe places you can go, whether it's a friend's house or a family member's home. Have a bag packed with essentials and any important documents ready to go. 
Reach out to trusted friends or family members. Let them know your situation and your plans. Having a support system can make all the difference when you decide to leave. You don't have to navigate this alone, there are people who want to help you. Remember, you deserve to be in a relationship where you feel safe and valued. Don't underestimate your worth and don't hesitate to make a plan that puts your safety first. You have the right to take control of your life and seek the happiness you deserve. Number 6. Empowerment and Moving Forward As you start to rebuild your life after a narcissistic relationship, focusing on self-care is essential. Take time to engage in activities that bring you joy and relaxation. Whether it's going for a walk, practicing mindfulness, or picking up a new hobby, these moments of self-care will help restore your peace. Surround yourself with supportive people who uplift you and remind you of your worth. Building a solid support system is vital for your healing. Seek out friends or family who understand your journey and can provide a listening ear. Sharing your experiences can help you process your feelings and gain perspective. Remember, you're not alone in this. There are many who care about your well-being and want to help you grow. Now, let's talk about the importance of boundaries. Setting clear boundaries is essential for your emotional health. Boundaries are not walls, they are guidelines that protect your space and your feelings. They let others know what is acceptable and what is not. When you define your boundaries, you empower yourself. You can say no to what doesn't serve you and yes to what does. This might mean limiting contact with the narcissist or being firm about what behaviors you will not tolerate. Remember, it's okay to prioritize yourself and your well-being. As you move forward, remind yourself that you are in control of your life now. You have the strength to create a future that aligns with your values and dreams. Empower yourself by focusing on what makes you happy and fulfilled. Your journey may have been tough, but each step you take toward healing brings you closer to a brighter, more peaceful future. As we wrap up today's discussion, let's recap the key points. We've explored how disappearing on a narcissist can send them into a tailspin of shock and confusion. Their initial reaction often stems from a sense of possessiveness, believing that if you leave, it must be for someone else. This chaos doesn't just affect them, it also highlights the importance of prioritizing your own safety and well-being. Remember, it's your right to protect yourself. We've also talked about the emotional turmoil that follows, the hoovering tactics they might use, and the risks involved if you decide to go back. It's crucial to reflect on your own worth and establish strong boundaries to safeguard your emotional health. The journey to healing may be challenging, but it is possible. If you found this video helpful, please take a moment to like and subscribe. I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Your stories matter and can inspire others on their journey toward healing. Thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate each one of you for being here and engaging in this important conversation. Remember, you don't have to navigate this journey alone. Seek support when you need it and keep moving forward. You have the strength within you to create a brighter future. Until next time, take care of yourselves and stay empowered.